Searchlight is a recently released jailbreak tweak that turns your Spotlight search into an application launcher, just like this. So I have my recent applications. I can tap on Cydia, that loads up Cydia, just like that. And you can see favorites as well. So I have one password set as a favorite. And the nice thing about this tweak is that it doesn't change the core functionality of Spotlight. For instance, I can still tap the letter A and that'll show all my applications uh, in my top hits with the letter A. And I can perform searches across all of my different search parameters that I have configured in the Spotlight search. But the nice thing is you have quick and easy app access directly from Spotlight Search without even typing a search term because you have your recents and your favorites and a list of all applications if you want to do that as well. So let's go into the stock settings app and find the preferences for search light. Here it is. And we'll open that up. A well-designed preference panel is what you're going to find when you open up search lights preferences here. At the top, you have the system search heading and you have activation method so you can set up an activator gesture. I've set up a double tap of the status bar. The nice thing about this is that it allows you to access your spotlight search from anywhere, even while within apps. So I'm going to try to double tap on the status bar here. See if I can get that working. There we go. So there is the spotlight search right there from the uh, settings app. So I don't actually have to go back to my springboard and access my spotlight search. I can do that from anywhere, courtesy of this activator method section. And then there's appearance and behavior. You can change up the header view. You can change up the, the style, make it light, dark, blurred, etc. And there's some other basic um, settings that you can configure there. Nothing groundbreaking at all. Uh, the real meat and potatoes of this tweak here is under the include section. So you can include recent apps and you can s select the number of apps you want to include, either one, three, or five recent apps. You can give it its own custom header name if you want to do that. Leave it blank for default. And the same thing goes for favorites, except for this time, you can actually add and designate the actual uh, favorite that you want to add here. So all you do is hit the plus button in the upper right hand corner, and then you can designate your favorites by using these switches here. And I'll just do that. So now I have three favorites, and then you can also reorder the favorites in the order that you wish. You can add a header name if you want to do that as well. And then there's application lists. And this is just basically a, a dump of all the applications on your device and you can blacklist specific applications. I have this disabled because I just think it's way too much. There's even apps here that aren't actually uh, you know, public apps like Ask Permission UI and you'll find field tests and other things that aren't actually normally displayed on iOS. So it just looked kind of cluttered and messy. But that being said, you can't blacklist any any apps there that you wish to do so with. Now, anytime you make any changes here, you need to tap the save and refresh button right here, and that will save and refresh. Uh, no resprings are required, so that's really, really nice. Uh, so let's go ahead and go back out and try to invoke Spotlight. There we go. So you can see I have my recents, and I also have my favorites. If I launch Calculator, Watch what happens under my recents. You see calculator is now a recent. So this is a great tweak to use if you want to supercharge Spotlight, so to speak, and make it an application launcher. You're not really changing any core Spotlight functionality, so you still retain all that great functionality, but it allows you to access Spotlight from anywhere, and it gives you recents and favorites and things like that. So this is Searchlight, ladies and gentlemen. It is from Developer Two Days Late. It is $1.99 on City as Big Boss Repo, and I do recommend it. It does some really cool things, allows you to have favorites, and your recent apps right there from the convenience of Spotlight Search, which is now accessible from anywhere. Let me know what you guys think about Searchlight in the comment section down below. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.